This morning, I'm dealing with and going to talk about could have, would have, should have choices. That's what we're going to deal with the whole week. The choices, the choices that we make. Now, look at the text to talk in the takeaway. The text is this. It's very, very familiar. I want you to hear it again for the first time. Romans 7 and 19. Here is Paul talking about his whole deliberation in terms of how he should conduct his life, how he should behave when he's confronted with the things he wants to do and how should he make right choices. Romans seven nineteen. when I want to do good and who doesn't? I don't. And who doesn't? Who doesn't? And when I try not to do wrong, you already know. I do it anyway. Isn't that powerful? Let me read that again. I mean, if that doesn't th say amen, put an amen right in the chat right there, because if that doesn't speak to all of us, I don't know what does. Romans seven nineteen. When I want to do good, I don't. And when I try not to do wrong, I do it anyway. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Ever been in situations in which man, I should have done that. Or, man, I shouldn't have done that. That's what just comes your way. That's life. So let me give you three things that'll help you with this part of life that all of us have to deal with. The first thing that I need to share with you is this. Choices provide course corrections. Put it in the chat area. I want you to get that. Courses provide Choices provide course correction. Don't live your life in regret. What I have found that after you make a few bad choices, the next big one that comes your way, if you're not careful, it'll overwhelm you. You will get frozen because you don't want to make another bad choice. Say, okay, you were married and you got a divorce. Hey, you got married again. That didn't work out either, or relationship, whatever the case may be. The tendency is, is now to live a life of coulda, woulda, shoulda, to get frozen. Don't live your life in regret. Make sure you make a choice because that choice will provide a course correction. The second thing is this. Choices should be made with great care. Choices should be made with great care. Paul consulted the word. He said, now, when I looked at the law in the seventh chapter, it didn't provide much for me. It didn't help me. But when I looked at grace, man, that really helped me make the right choice because there was no power in the law. Paul said, even within myself is dead. Oh, wretched man that I am. And there is no, there is no life in the law but there is life and grace. In other words, he was saying, consider the word. What does the word have to say about the choice you have to make? The third thing is this. Choices can have lasting consequences. Choices can have lasting, the ramifications of the choices that we make does not mean that we don't make them. It means that we have to understand. Here it is. I want you to grab this. It's like pebbles in a pond. It's like throwing a pebble in a pond. It's going to have a ripple effect. It will have a ripple effect. But trust the second point that I made. Make it knowing that God's grace is going to be there. Make it knowing that God's grace is going to be there. And the ripples that it makes in the ponds of your life. Go to Romans 8, 28. For he will work it together for your good. I'm speaking truth. If you ever heard it this morning. That is so true. So choices will leave and can cause a lasting consequences. They should be considered carefully, the word of God. Don't get caught up into not making a choice because it's going to provide the course correction of the previous ones. <laughs> We're talking about choices all week. I need you to tap into it and share the manner. Here's your takeaway. Get the takeaway. Choose well, underline that word, because you will likely be drinking from that well for a while. Choose well, 
because you're likely to be drinking from that well for a while. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you, give you peace. We're going to be dealing with choices this week. God bless you. Bye now. Share the manna. Don't keep it to yourself.